I have nothing to wear. Is that what you say when you look in the wardrobe and plan your outfit for a day at work? Hi, it's Sue with your FAQ and the question this week is, well, how do I look stylish when I go off to work without getting stressed? So although fashion and style and look, getting our look right when we head out the door should be fun for many, and but women in particular, it's not. We have so many hang-ups about our clothes and certainly don't consider getting dressed for the day any fun at all. So I've come up with four reasons where you might uh, have a mindset about image and that might just stop you from looking good and how you can overcome them. The first one is money. Can I afford it? Now, if you don't invest in yourself, who will? As I say in my, in my workshops, the GFC is over. Now, if you remember that, global financial crisis is well and truly over. Now, GFC means good for your career. So with a little bit of budgeting and with a little bit of planning and working uh, with the budget that you have, you can plan a wardrobe that suits your work role and that suits your budget. We invest a lot of money into uh, paying our mortgages, the kids' holidays, uh, going on holiday. Why not invest a little bit of money in yourself? After all, you are worth it. Physique. Am I too fat? Am I too small? Am I too short? Maybe they're one of your excuses. So don't underestimate the value of a well-fitting outfit. If you uh, have brands that you normally buy, consider buying those on a regular basis because they're the ones that do fit you well. So shop those brands because you know that they do fit. Now, if you do buy something online or uh, at another outlet and it doesn't work for you, it doesn't fit, do have it altered. Never underestimate the value of having something altered to fit. Retail therapy, now is that one for you? So. It, shopping should be fun, it should be creative, and it can be entertaining, especially window shopping. But if you go shopping and you shop for a black suit and you have four other black jackets or black suits in your wardrobe, it might mean that you have a problem. So the problem for you is that you don't want to shop on impulse when you're feeling down, feeling a little bit sad, um, or just feeling a little bit stressed. So you just want to resist that urge to shop. It's like having that piece of cake, that extra piece of cake. You know it's bad for you, so don't have it. The next reason just might feel overwhelmed which is the exact opposite of retail therapy. You go to a shopping centre, too many things to choose from, uh, you, you just can't be bothered, it just becomes all too difficult. Well this is where you need a plan. So just take a plan of what you need to buy, maybe just one thing that can you can purchase that day that will add to your existing wardrobe. And then when you've just purchased that one great item, you will feel a lot better that you have actually accomplished that. So that's just a very small uh, snippet of what I have on my blog this week at suecurry.com.au blog to help you overcome some of those mindset issues that you may have about image and getting dressed for work. Hope that helps. Keep shining.